Today at an international conference of some of the world's top scientists, we had our first chance to hear from the Chinese scientist who claims to have created the world's first genetically edited human babies. Dr. Hay also revealed that he may have a second pregnancy underway. Are there any current pregnancies with embryos that have been genome edited as part of your clinical trials? There is a, another one, but it did tend to monitor. It's what? There's another potential okay. pregnancy. The world has expressed outrage at the first attempt to genetically modify babies in this manner because most mainstream scientists think that, that we don't know enough about its safety. Scientists peppered Dr. Hay with many questions about who is funding his work, why he's done it, why he chose to proceed in this manner, and and chose HIV rather than a genetically inherited disease to make as a first test case, and he left them largely with more questions than answers. I think a lot of the questions were, were very good questions and very relevant to the future of this whole field, and not to mention, of course, the people that are directly affected by this, and we did not hear answers to those questions. Despite some of the great concerns about what Dr. Hayes says he has done, Many scientists say that it's important not to have a backlash against this gene editing technology. It has the potential to profoundly improve human health. Leaders at the conference are gathering to draft a statement that they hope will give a way for the international community to come together so that they can decide how to move forward and what uses might be appropriate for powerful gene editing technology.